There's sure to be commuter confusion in the morning. The new construction on Chicago's Well Street Bridge will be changing the plans of a lot of people. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ravi Bajwal. And I'm Karen Jordan. The bridge work has been going on all weekend, but Monday morning will be a real test for commuters. That's right. So let's check in now with ABC7's Michelle Gallardo along the Chicago River tonight with the very latest details. Michelle? Revy and Karen, work is going on 24-7 here all this coming week in order to limit the inconvenience to CTA customers as much as possible. And you can see some of that work that is going on behind me now. This time it is the northern half of the Well Street Bridge that is being replaced. Here we go again. I didn't even knew this was going to happen, so it's my first time and taking the train, and I was just confused right now. As the effort to rebuild the 90-year-old Well Street Bridge continues this coming week, the ensuing train reroutes are once again confusing CTA customers. They did direct me. They were very helpful. They told me how to get on the shuttle bus and then to come here to get on to Fullerton. In addition to replacing the north end of the bridge this weekend, additional track work performed at Hubbard and Kinsey and above the intersection of Lake and Wells, all but eliminated elevated train service in the loop. That will resume tomorrow, with the exception of the Brown Line, which will end at the Merchandise Mart, and the Purple Line Express, which won't run at all until the Well Street Bridge work is complete on May 6th. So I live in Evanston, so I take the Purple Line all the way down um, to the loop, and I work here in the loop, so basically I need to take the Red Line all the way uh, down, so that's going to you know, increase the time significantly. While all this is going on, shuttle bus service is in place for Brown Line customers who need to transfer to or from other train lines. Furthermore, on weekdays during both the morning and evening rush, one out of three Brown Line trains marked Roosevelt will run on the Red Line subway tracks. The Red Line will be unaffected, but will likely be much more crowded than usual. It doesn't stress me out too bad, but if I were having to go to an important meeting or something like that, I think it would be a little bit, a little bit stressful. Have to leave early and stuff like that. So yeah. The new northern leaf of the bridge will be in place, and the trains will go back to normal by May the 6th. Live along the Chicago River, I'm Michelle Gallardo, ABC 7 News. Karen and Ravi, back to you. All right, commuters, get ready. Thanks, Michelle.